Hi, it's Charlie Zeese with Stargate Pyramids and the Pyramid Science Foundation. But today's video is going to be about demonstrating the existence of the 76.345 degree universal phi scaling angle in water uh, vortexes. Uh, we've seen these before in uh, uh, limited supply because I hadn't really ever gone through and done a a, an exhaustive study on this, but it's they're very, very similar in many respects to uh, the formation of tornado funnels. So I think you're going to see a lot of similarities here. But um, anyway, without further ado, I'm going to open up my uh, slide presentation and we can get started. So again, we're, we're talking about the universal phi scaling angle of 76.345 degrees in water vortexes. Water vortexes are another example of the 76.345 phenomenon, little, little sacred geometry pun there, of universal phi scaling in nature. Now, similar to tornado funnels, water vortexes appear to be subject to these very same universal phi scaling principles of formation. And as you know, that's the topic of my uh, new documentary that I've done on behalf of the foundation. It's really about the golden ratio and the organizing principles of the universe. So this is a new information, even though the documentary is only a week old. Uh, this, you know, I've, I've done this in the interim uh, and it expands upon the examples that I had in the documentary on this topic. But they're also similar in that they, they seem to be shaped with the thinner funnels if there's insufficient energy being applied to the system to achieve that optimum 76, 345 degree angle. For those of you who saw the video I did on those, you know that when they're in their beginning phases or their um, uh, kind of their declining uh, phases, uh, tornado funnels do have thinner uh, uh, funnels than the 76, 345 degree angle. But when the energy input is maximal and it's at its optimum strength, which is what you're going to see in these examples, we find the exact same geometry uh, no matter where we look. So um, let's go through and, and look at some of these examples. I'll just show you a few. Now, here's an example of one that um, uh, is fairly well formed. Uh, however, the energy that's being input into the system probably isn't sufficient. It isn't sufficient to to get at that perfect uh, geometric angle that we'll see in some of these going forward. And here's another example. This one's very close to being accurate, but you can see that there's still some uh, you know imperfections in the geometry uh, of that funnel. And here's another example. This one seems to be a bit more perfect. And that's probably due to the amount of energy input into the system. And here's another example of one that's very nicely formed um, that has this geometry. And um, another one. Now, here are some where we've got very, very high speed rotation that's being used to uh, create these vortexes. And you can see just how precise uh, the geometry is when you get sufficient energy into the system. And here's another example as well, uh, where this angle is here with a lot of energy being input and yet another one as well. So uh, uh, you can see these again, don't have quite the energy uh, component to them. And so they're slightly imperfect, but you can see this geometry uh, wherever you go. Here's another example of one with a lot of uh, energy being input into the system. Notice the, the very, very clear, distinct uh, angle uh, in that funnel. And here's another example as well. Here's an example from a playground. This uh, particular uh, water vortex, the funnel, is created by someone at the park uh, in the kitty park, uh, literally uh, cranking up uh, uh, with a crank uh, the water to create this vortex effect.
And here again, let's look at this. This is a, a, a vortex being created at the top. Here you can see that uh, as you get closer down to the bottom, that the spiral doesn't have, or the funnel doesn't have that uh, geometry, but it does have it at the top. So as you can see, this is just another example of the universal phi scaling angle of 76.345 in another one of these fundamental examples uh, in nature. So I hope this has been helpful and I thank you for watching and you have a great day.